back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here, my name is Sarah Jane and I am a PR practitioner living in DC. I make a lot of content on reading, writing, and grad school at Georgetown, so if any of that interests you, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because it really does help support my channel. All right, today I'm gonna to be talking about all the books that I want to read in the month of August. I have nine total and I loved having nine during my July TBR because I felt like it gave me flexibility to read the books that I want because I am a bit of a mood reader. I don't like having a set list and I liked that I was able to be flexible in July so I'm carrying that over into August. So I picked nine books once again. Let's start with the beach reads because I am going to the beach after next week and I'm going to be bringing these three books with me. So first of all, we have Beach Read by Emily Henry. I've only read one other book by Emily Henry and that was Happy Place and I actually hated it. Um, I have a whole video about why I didn't like Happy Place. Um, so be sure to watch that video if you are curious, but I do wanna give Emily Henry one more shot because I've heard a lot of people like this book. So I'm going to be picking up this one. This is about Augustus Everett and January Andrews who are both authors and they decide to switch genres to see if it helps them get out of their writer's block. Um, super excited to give this one a try. Next up is My Magnolia Summer by Victoria Benton Frank. So this is actually Victoria's debut novel. Um, it's essentially about a woman who is from low country South Carolina and she ends up moving to New York, I believe for work. So, but her grandmother has fallen into a coma after a car accident and it really troubles her mother. So she returns back to South Carolina and it sounds like it's gonna be a character driven novel about their relationship, the three women, the grandmother, the mother, and the daughter, the protagonist. Um, this book interests me because if you don't know anything about me, this actually is similar to like my life story. Um, not the part about my, the grandmother, but I'm from South Carolina, specifically from Greenville, and um, I ended up moving to New York and then going back for a little bit. So I can, I think I'm gonna really empathize with the main character and I just wanted to pick it up for that reason. Also, do you see this cover? This cover is actually gorgeous. All right, next up we have The Five Star Weekend by Ellen Hildebrand. So if you watched my beach read vlog over July 4th, I read the Paradise Trilogy by Ellen Hildebrand and loved it. And so when my book club was looking for a, um, like a last beach read recommendation, I actually recommended this one since it's her newest novel. I actually don't know anything about it. Ooh, look at the inside page. I have not, I did not notice that when I picked this book up from the um, bookstore. Yeah, I actually don't know anything about this novel, but I really liked her Paradise Trilogy book. It was super easy to read and just really enjoyable. So I'm gonna read this too. All right, next up is a book that everyone else has read except me. This is Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings. So first of all, I do love the cover art. I ended up getting this book and like, look at the back, look at that. I ended up getting this book a couple months ago. I think I've been holding off reading it because I've heard a lot of YouTubers talk about the toxic relationships that are within this book. And I, that's just like a personal pet peeve of mine. I don't really like toxic relationships. Um, and so I've had a hard time like picking up this book knowing that that is in this. But so many people have talked about how good this book is. Um, Raven Haired Reader on YouTube is gonna be doing a read along in August. So I thought this was a perfect time to actually put this on my TBR and try to read it. If you don't know what this book is about, it's supposed to be about a group of friends. Um, and from what I've heard, it's like Gossip Girl times euphoria vibes, which I love Gossip Girl, so I want to read this book. So, so far I've showed you my beach reads, my contemporary fiction read. Um, and next up, let's go into my fantasy reads. So I have three picked out. I've really tried hard to stay away from fantasy um, because I feel like it gives such fall slash winter vibes, but um, I've actually just really enjoyed the genre ever since I read Akatar, so Moving on, um, I uh, will talk about this more in my like uh, my July book wrap up. But um, I had in my July TBR that I wanted to read the first Throne of Glass book. Spoiler: I did read it, and I'm going to talk about it more whenever I do film my wrap up video. But I do have the Crown of Midnight in my August TBR. Um, I and spoiler: I ended up loving the first book, so I've added the second book um, to my TBR this month, and I'm really excited to 
follow the world of Selena Sardothian um, and just get more ingrained in Sarah J Moss's universe. I think she's an amazing fantasy writer. Like, I just, I love her so much. So the first book was about the competition that she was chosen to be a part of. This one, it sounds like she's gonna be making some hard choices. So my vibe that I'm getting is it's a little bit less action-y and a little bit more plot. We'll see. My second fantasy book for the month is Fourth Wing. I feel like I don't really have to talk about this book too much because it's all over like booktube, book talk, all of that fun stuff. But um, I will say just the little excerpt that I've read so far, it gives me like West Point times Game of Thrones vibes, but like had dragons. So really excited for this. I mean, everybody has just said such good things about it. So I can't wait to read it. Um, but essentially, if you don't know what it's about, it is following the story of Violet so Violet Sorengale, I think is how you say it. She wanted to, she enters the military academy and her mother, I think is a general in charge of the academy, but she wants to enter a scribe quadrant. She wants to be a scribe for lack of a better term. Um, but her mother is like, no way, Jose, you're gonna become a dragon rider. Becoming a dragon rider is like very dangerous, very lethal, and she just really isn't, meant for that world because she hasn't trained for that world and so this book follows the story of her journey. And the last fantasy book that I want to read this month is Red Queen by Victoria Aithgard. I think that's how you say her name. Um, so funny enough, I heard about Red Queen by Elle Fowler, like one of the OG beauty YouTubers here on YouTube and she talked about that book, Red Queen, back when I was in like college and I was not into fantasy at that time so I like didn't really look into it or care to pick it up or anything like that and now I randomly somehow started following Victoria, the author, on Instagram and watching her writing journey like makes me really want to pick up the novel. So this book has been out for like 10 years or something like that, but I finally am like ready to pick up the series. So I'm very excited to add that to my TBR this list as well. All right, next category of books that I wanna read in the month of August is mythological fiction. And you might be wondering, why am I reading mythological fiction? That's nothing I've ever shared on this channel, not a genre I typically pick up. However, if you watch my like writing a novel, a video that I just posted uh, not too long ago because I am writing a novel. Spoiler, very exciting, it's very exciting. Go check out that video if you haven't. I talk a lot about like what the book is about. But anyway, so um, I'll link that in the description below. But the genre of the book I'm writing is mythological fiction. So um, whenever you do pitch an agent, because I am trying to go the traditional publishing route, you have to do a thing called comparable titles. And comparable titles are essentially like what an agent looks at to see how that book did on the market when they're trying to pitch a publisher. So I'm essentially trying to read other books in the mythological fiction genre so that way when I do get to the point I'm ready to pitch an agent, um, I have some comparable titles in my back pocket. So I'm starting with two books. I don't know if I'm going to get to them in the month of um, August, but I'm going to try. So, so the first one is The Song of Achilles. This is by Madeline Miller. This actually came out in 2011, so it's been out for a very long time. Um, but essentially, it's set during the Greek heroic age, and it's an adaptation of Homer's Iliad as told from the perspective of Patroclus, I think is how you say it. It's actually rated really well. It's the number one mythological fiction book, so it's the number one book of its genre on Goodreads. So for that purpose alone, I want to get into the story and like n know how it's written, know the plot line, know the story, how it's um, shaped and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's the first book. And then the, the other mythological fiction book that I wanna read this month is called Queens of the Mascara. This, so this book essentially follows the story of Hippolyte and Penthesilia, who were the two Queens of the Amazons at the Mascara, and um, I think this would be a really good book for me to read because this is one of the newer published Greek mythological books that has done well. It has a pretty good Goodreads rating, so um, I am also really interested. This was published in May of last year, so I'm really interested. Okay, this is a newly published book. How well has it done? in the last year that it's been um, published. So really, really excited to get my hands on both of those books and just get a little bit smarter about the publishing world. 
So anyways, those are the nine books that I want to read in the month of August. I don't think I'm going to get to all of them, but I'm definitely going to try. And I'm really, really excited for another good reading month. Reading just like really enriches my soul. It just makes me happy. And I love being able to talk to other people about books. So anyways, let me know in the comments below what you guys are planning on reading in the month of August. And I will talk to you guys in another one. Bye.